Old Metropolitan Playhouse has been around since the glory days of theater. For years it's been haunted by an evil mass specter known as Showstopper. Curtains have crashed down, lights have blown out, and actors have fallen off the stage. And now a brave group of young actors have shown up, daring to put on a play. But Showstopper lurks, ready to wreck everything. Just as the play starts, Showstopper appears to cut the production short. Not so fast! Super Rupert's here to save the day. We'll make sure the show goes on. Showstopper's no match for Super Rupert. Showstopper's days are over. That's what you think. <laughs> the chandelier! Can he stop it in time? Got it! Well done. That disco ball is the only special effect we can afford. Don't worry, Mrs. Lord. Nothing's gonna stop this show. Well, with your help, Rupert, we might just fix this jinx. You, Hey, Rhonda, what are you doing here? Oh, I just thought I'd help. Anyone want a fortifying sandwich? I know all about jinxes from my days in the theater. For one thing, you never, ever say the word Macbeth in a theater. <gasps> this is a theater. Oh. Well, I guess so. Oh, well, it's just a superstition. Now, salami or cheese? Oh. Oh. oh! What's got her goat? Well, Aunt Rhonda, you'd be uptight too. The past seven years, for one reason or another, her annual play has never happened. Oh, that's just awful. In my opinion, it was sabotaged by a diabolical force. Showstopper. Oh, it's a good thing you're on the case. I dare say there's a part for me to play in this. It goes by thermonuclear explosion in Act One. Romeo and Juliet's Space Odyssey? We're performing Bog's new play. It's an intergalactic retelling of Shakespeare's classic tragedy. Oh, I just love Shakespeare's plays. I'm a classically trained actor, you know. I see. Oh, Carrie Lynn, you have that costume design? Yeah, take a look. It's perfect. Now, I'll just make a few uh, slight modifications here. It's nothing too serious. You're well on your way. There, much better. Right. Um, <clears throat> I, I worked at the Pantalone Dinner Theater when I lived in New York. And I would just love to be a part of your little... Thanks, but I've got everything covered myself. Everything? I'm not taking any chances this year. Now, <clears throat> you'll excuse me. I have a meteor shower to prepare. Oh. <laughs> Memorizing your lines? Yeah, it's hard. But the role of Juliet, it's mine. Hope you get it. What are you doing? My odor meter's picking up a stink. Just what the showstopper would plan to keep the audience away. I'm closing in on it. Yeah! Ew! Oh, gross! Oh, I realized I'm at the lab. Oh, thanks, Drew. I'm looking all over for these. <laughs> Nice meteors. I think so. They bombard Juliet's home planet. Oh. I know all about props from my acting days in New York. No! You've just painted my coral paperweight souvenir from Hawaii. Oh, I, I was just trying to help. Help? Well, don't. Charlie 2, this is Delta 1. Come in. Charlie 2 here, zone 4 secure. Roger, Rupert. I have an errand for you. Over. Not your service. Anything to keep the show on the... Oh, hi there. I want Elm Street plastered with posters for our play. Mission accomplished yesterday. I drove by there this morning. Not a single poster. Now hop to it. No posters. What happened? Showstopper. Please! Ross? You're sabotaging the show? Just doing my job. Ned and Ed pay me a nickel for each poster I tear down. Ned and Ned? They're trying to stop the show? 
group everybody knows the school play never goes on. Russ, have some faith. Who cares about Shakespeare anyway? <laughs> I do. You do? <sighs> Me too. I read all his plays. He's great. Well, I got the part of Juliet. Wow. Congratulations. I pity the guy who's got to play Romeo. Why? Because he's got to kiss Ally. Yes, sir. Oh, interesting. Um, Rufaya. Gotta go. Well, I've got a lead to follow. Hmm. Competition. I know. So, boys, you heard? Whoever gets the part of Romeo gets a year of free haircuts from Bob. Works every time. You're not gonna get rid of me that easy. Suit yourself. It is the piece. Hmm. Here, take a load off. You know, uh, if you get the part of Romeo, you're gonna have to kiss Sally. I know. Romeos, Romeos, where for art thou, Romeos? Right here. Yeah. Russ? Um, I'll, uh, be right in. See ya, sucker! What light through yonder space station breaks? It is the east! And Juliet is my solar flare. Oh, oh, bravo, bravo. Oh, thank you, Scott. We'll let you know. Thank you, Mrs. Lord. Whatever you say, Mrs. Lord. It's been a pleasure, Mrs. Lord. Out. Yes, Mrs. Lord. Now, about your play. Oh, isn't it wonderful? It's too long. What am I supposed to do? I trust you know a thing or two about cutting, Mr. Bog. Oh. Excuse me, pardon me. Theater when we were kids. Yeah, and look at us. We turned out just fine. Saturday night, bingo binge is all the culture I need. <laughs> Not like this newfangled Romeo and Juliet will happen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Slam. I just can't do it. Oh, must I do everything? <laughs> oh. Why should Fogg deprive the world of his work just because you're incapable of producing it? Oh, I don't see you putting on any plays around here. Oh, you're a fine one to talk. You haven't done a play in seven years. I've never seen such amateurs. Fine, then. You think you can do this show without me? I'd like to see you try. Charlie uh, Tuna, Delta One. Uh, I found Showstopper. It's too late, mate. Mrs. Lord just quit. Looks like the show's cancelled. Hmm. Maybe not. So much for that mission. I found the villain, but it didn't make any difference. At least this way, Scud won't be uh, locking lips with Allie. The show must go on. Light the lights. Raise the curtain. Bring up the band. It's too late. Never. Bog's show is destined to become a masterpiece, and you kids are going to premiere it. Who's going to direct? Me, of course. <sighs> Scud's going to smooch with Ali after all. Okay, where's your evidence? They were shredding paper with this. A pool toy? No, they must have moved it. Looking to buy something, kid? Uh, Ned, uh, my son was thinking. 
Goody Shredder's... Got this handy potato shredder here. Two for five ninety nine. How about a paper shredder? Nope, never seen one. Of course, we could, uh, order you one. Yeah. Well, that is, if you're willing to make a, uh, a sizable deposit. If you don't have a shredder, then... Then what's in here? Whole lot of stale air. I'm on to you, Neds. Come on, son. Come on. But, Dad, I saw it. You gotta believe me. Unlike some people, I know how to delegate. Carrie Lynn, you will be promoted to head costume designer. Yes. Now, Rupert will be set designer, and what I really need is a stage manager. Anyone seen Allie? Aha. What? Thank you, Scud. You can stop now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, oh uh, th that's enough. Scud, S Scud, let him go. Whoa, 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 fella. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Miss Patterson. I was just uh, getting into my character. You've got what it takes, kid. Thank you, alien foe. That's it for today. Now. Oh, oh, next up is a very important scene. It's where our two leads actually kiss. Not if I can help it. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou an enemy cyborg from Soltar 7? Deny thy robotic father and refuse thy silicone chip. Uh, all right now, Scud, make your move. What is a name? A rose by any other name would still smell. Yeah! Russ, what are you doing? Uh, 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 I'm the stage manager. I'm just uh, man managing the stage. Well, then can you manage to get out of here? I'm like totally out of character now. All right, all right. Let's just move on to the next scene. I'll get you. Aren't you supposed to be at rehearsal? More important things, Dad. Ned and Ned? <sighs> From one crime fighter to another, I gotta tell you, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, yeah? Look, this jinx on the school play happened seven years ago. It's when they opened their store. Exactly. Coincidence. Besides, Aunt Rhonda's got it all under control. Hey, hey, that's that's mine. Mine. All right now, Scud, make hey, your hey, move. No, what? In a name, a rose by any other name would still smell. Um, Watch out, ladder coming through. Clear out, would you? Ah, oh, the magic of theater. Which do you prefer for Juliet? Oh, um, uh, both. Both? Yeah. Right. I made a few changes. Changes? What are we talking here? Oh. Just about 15 more scenes. This is gonna be quite a surprise. Yeah, it'll be quite an explosion, that's all I can say. Yeah. Kaboom! <laughs> Talk about a showstopper. <laughs> I've got to stop those guys. They're gone for the day. Can't open the door. No, here. Let me try. Hmm? Oh, stupid doorknob. Sorry. I didn't mean you. Hey, Ned, hmm? we can always, you know, Kaboom! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Duck and cover! Ow, 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 ow. Stop right there, showstoppers! Oh, hey! Hey! That's the end of your plan to destroy our show, Whip! Uh, new disco ball? I told you they were innocent. 
But they talked about an explosion. Yeah, as in thermonuclear. We heard there was a need for a new disco ball. But you hate theater. Except when we heard it uh, got spaceships and two-headed aliens. Yeah, we're, uh, we're sci-fi bops, Ned and me. What about the posters you shredded? Uh-oh. You caught us. See, Dad? But we, we printed them for Mrs. Lord. But Ned here got the wrong dates. We were hoping we could fix them before she noticed. Well, Rube? I guess the show's safe after all. And I think apology is in order? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. It is the fires of a thousand burning starships. Sorry, guys. But I just can't deal with these new lines. Well, try it again. It's what all the big stars do to fix their jitters on Broadway. This isn't Broadway. Where are you going? Oh, man, that is so unprofessional. Well, I hope you're satisfied, Bog. Me? Yes, this is all your fault she quit. What are you talking about? Well, you keep changing your play. I am an artiste, I'll have you know. I won't change one word of this script. None of you understands my work. <coughs> Except for Scud, of course. Oh. Is this what you were looking oh. for? Finally, somebody to capture my vision. Thank you. Oh. Of course, now you have to redo it to fit me. Fit you? Yes. I'm playing Juliet now. Oh, right. What, Scud? Ms. Patterson, there is no way I'm kissing you. Come on, sis, you gotta get up. You've been here all day. How can I show my face? I'm a complete failure. Well, maybe it's because you're used to the way things were in... New York? Oh, right. The truth is, I was nothing but a two-bit waitress at the Pantalo Dinner Theater. What do I know about directing? We need Rupert. You know, son, I'm starting to think there really is a showstopper. Too late, Dad. I, I give up. If you don't get the play off the ground, you know what will happen. I'll turn to a cultureless oaf like Ned and Ned. Well, there's a lot more to life than this Saturday night bingo binge. What can I say, Dad? Showstopper beat me. Well, maybe Showstopper isn't just one person. Well, am I right or am I right? We need a director, Dad. Someone as organized as Mrs. Lord. I get fun like Aunt Rhonda. So combine them. What? Like... Uh, Frankenstein monster? No, no. Uh, Mrs. Lord, Bog, Aunt Rhonda. Juggle them together. Okay. Who's going to direct it? I, I can't take. Um... You all can. You all can. Everyone. Lower together. Oh. Please. No, no. Please. <laughs> Sneak preview. This Lord's doing the play behind my back. This I gotta see. Come on, guys. Do we want to put on a play or not? They're coming. What do you say? I say Patterson's right. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Seems a rather select audience. I see they let the riffraff in. <laughs> ladies and, uh, ladies, I present to you Romeo and Juliet's Space Odyssey, condensed version. Don't tell me he shortened it. I did. 
Though it pained me aught like a thousand daggers. Oh. Is this your shop? No. I thought it was yours. Deny thy robotic father and refuse thy silicone chip. What? In a name? A rose by any other name would still smell as... Russ! I, I couldn't help it. That's it! Revenge! Come here, shepherd boy! Stop! Perhaps there's another solution to this kiss. I agree. Maybe Romeo and Juliet don't kiss. Huh? Yes. Uh, rather, they show their affection through a uniquely uh, alien way. What do you want me to do? Well, instead of lips, uh, maybe they touch um, feet. You get feet. Feet, that's brilliant. I totally agree. Oh. Well, what do you say we start? I couldn't agree with you more. Would you take a look at that spaceship? <laughs> Absolutely magnificently marvelous play. I have never been so moved. That, 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 that beats a bingo binge any day of the week. Fuck! <laughs> you genius! Genius! Really? Cheers. Oh, uh, Lads? Ladies and gentlemen, Pose a toast to showstopper and out of business for good. Yeah. Yeah. And a toast to Super Rupert. Put the show on the road. To Super Rupert! Super Rupert.